Hey guys, welcome to Raw Customs Cheap Mods. So, first things first, I have traded in my 2015 Jeep JK Sport and I upgraded to a 2022 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Now, normally I would take the time to build my own bumper and steps for the truck. However, I don't have the time with the other projects I have going on right now, so I decided to go ahead and buy a bumper and a winch. I found this one on Amazon for around $300. Uh, I'll look, try to put a link in it for you guys, but I'll try to find it and it has disappeared from the Amazon listing. Now this bumper was made for the JK. However, I went ahead and decided to take a risk and see if it would fit on the Gladiator and I didn't have any issues mounting it. The only thing I had to do was adjust the skid plate just a little bit to get it to slide into place. Now the winch is from the Traveler Series from Tractor Supply. Now on the JK I had an 8,000 pound winch and I pulled a tractor out of a pond, pulled my Jeep out of getting stuck and used it for quite a few other things and it's held up the whole time I've had the Jeep. So I decided to stay with the Traveler's uh, winch. This time I went ahead and bought a 9,000 pound winch for the Gladiator. Within 24 hours of me installing the winch on the Jeep, I was already using it to tow my neighbor around 300 yards out of a muddy pasture. So it's definitely something if you have an off-road vehicle that I recommend putting a winch on your truck. So guys, this is pretty much just a straightforward install video. So check it out. It might give you some tips and help you out on your install. The first thing I decided to do on my new Gladiator is to add a new bumper and a winch. The bumper is made by EAG. I found it on Amazon for around $300. It's made for a JK, but it fits the JT just fine. Before I mount it, I'll have to remove the old bumper. I started by removing the push pins and the spacer between the bumper and grill. Once the pins are removed, the spacer just pulls right out. Next, I separated the clip and the harness for the fog lights. With the space removed, I'm able to get a wrench down behind the bumper to take off the nuts that are holding it in place. And with just a little bit of wiggling, the bumper comes right off. So I did get the factory LED package, and they are pretty bright, so I'm going to reuse them in the new bumper. It was a pretty easy task to take them out of the bumper, I just had to remove the back shrouds, unscrew the lights, and remove the harness. The bumper came with all the hardware to mount it, to install the lights, and two D-ring shackles. Now the bumper is meant for a JK, and the holes for the light were a little small. So the lights actually set behind the hole a little bit instead of dropping into it. But they did mount down solid and I haven't had any movement. I did go back on Amazon and tried to find a link for you guys, but it seems like the bumper has disappeared from the listings. Once the lights were installed, it was just a matter of setting the bumper in place and tightening down all the nuts and bolts. Now I did have to make some adjustments to the skid plate underneath the truck to get the bumper to fit correctly. But all I had to do was loosen up a couple of bolts and readjust it. Once the bumper was all locked down, I ran the harness for the lights, plugged everything back in, and then did a quick check just to make sure everything was working. At this point, I decided to go ahead and put on the D-rings. They did come with some rubber spacers that go in between the metal. That way you don't have any rattles. Now normally I would have built my own bumper, but I just don't have the time right now. And all in all, I think the bumper actually looks pretty good on the truck. For the winch, I went with a 9,000 pound traveler's winch from Tractor Supply. This is the brand I had on the JK and it proved itself over and over. Installing a winch is pretty straightforward since the bumper's already made for it. It's just a matter of installing your fair lead, dropping your winch in place and bolting it down, 
and then running your power to the battery. And to keep the winch hook from rattling around, I went ahead and bought an isolator and installed it at the end of the cable. 